It's looking good, babe. So we got a rollout box with the hopes that this will keep our eggs cleaner. We'll be able to hatch some of our own eggs, which would be really lovely. And we'll be able to preserve them and uh, sell some. Here is what y'all have been waiting to see. Oh goodness, I know. That shadow that makes that incredibly laryngitis-y sounding crow. But wait for it. Come here, Peanut. Gotcha. <laughs> this, this handsome dude is Severus. That's Remus. The one that just crowed and is now going after his lady. Is it? That was Severus's curl. Hey, come here, babe. There's Mr. Albus. Strutting his stuff right there. Look at him, he's so handsome. And that tail is so majestic. Look at him. So handsome. <laughs> that would be Peanut. <laughs> this little dude right here. Come on, buddy. Crow for me. There he is. <laughs> it's the most pathetic crow you've ever heard. But it's so flipping cute. So Peanut was a little dude that came to us sick. Um, he... <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, let's go sit down. Y'all look, this rhubarb, I thought it was dead. Not joking, I thought it was dead. And it came back. That is awesome. A lot of our fruit trees are blossoming. We've got peaches over there, cherries over there, and more peaches on the front end of the garden. So all of those fruit trees blossoming, that is not good because we are expecting frosts. I've got a bunch of strawberry plants here that need to be covered and I wasn't able to get any covering for them. I have my green stalk needs to be covered. This is where the garden's been the last two years. We were planning on moving it. It's not gonna be able to be moved in time. So at this point, it's just staying here for another season. It was gonna be moved over can see where the chickens are but there's another bare space in front of the chickens that's where it was going to be moved but it's not now that's because of my foot so we're just going to have to make the best of a bad situation and just do what we can I'm gonna do a full bed of tomatoes full bed of slicers a full bed of um, cherries and I'm gonna stick sauce tomatoes wherever I can find space. This is just making do. So let me stand up and kind of sort of give you a tour. I can see along this front wall, a whole bunch of herbs. And then on this side wall, we have some more herbs in some fabric pots. Yes, dear. We have three containers that are just empty containers. Um, my daughter did plant those because we weren't sure that we were going to be able to do really anything this year. So I wanted to at least get some peas and some root crops or whatever I could. But we have these four beds in the front. Those are empty beds at the moment. Mine is, I think that's Tansy over there. And then over here is Snapdragon's and then down here in front of me, in the back center bed, is strawberries. And then we have an empty bed here, and an empty bed behind me. Blackberries and black raspberries, and then we have just regular raspberries. There are uh, blueberries all scattered throughout here. 
There's another blueberry and that is our baby's um, rose plant. So we have seven four by 10 foot beds and this is what we're growing in again this year. We also have some green stalks over there and then all around here is all fruit trees all the way till you get back here and we have rhubarb. So that's a lot. It's a lot that we're growing. It's a it's a good bit of space, but you know, where we were planning to move the garden, we were going to have a lot more. So it's kind of hard to not be a little bit disappointed about the fact that we're not going to be able to grow what we wanted to um, at the scale that we wanted to, but we just had to be realistic and realize, look, I'm not able to walk. So that's not going to happen this year. So really just trying to make the best of the situation and figure out where I'm going to plant tomatoes. I'm not going to do just a ton of tomatoes though, because like normally I would do three beds of tomatoes, but this year I'm scaling it back because it's a lot of maintenance and because we don't need that many. I actually have quite a bit of um, tomatoes still in my freezer from last year and I have quite a bit of canned like sauce. So we don't need a ton of tomatoes. These are really for fresh eating and they're just to enjoy. We do enjoy tomatoes throughout the summer, my husband especially, so I wanna make sure that you know, I have some space for those. And then cherry tomatoes are my daughter's absolute favorite snack and I am completely out of dehydrated and freeze dried cherry tomatoes, so I definitely need to do that. But I need to grow green beans, peppers, cucumbers, some kind of winter squash that we're actually really going to enjoy and eat throughout the winter. Um, carrots and potatoes. Those are like my main crops and I'm like, I really just need to grow those. I need, I need to grow blueberries as many as I can and grow strawberries as many as I can. And we have all of these black raspberries, raspberries and blackberries. <laughs> Those are kind of my top crops that I really just need to make sure that I grow enough of. And that's that's a lot for a smallish garden like this. I'm really concerned about the frosts. We don't have a frost warning, but we're going down to 36, 34, and that's really quite concerning for me. I want to make sure we don't go below freezing. I don't want to lose this harvest. And I did order frost blankets, but y'all, they are not going to be here in time. Hopefully next year we'll have a much better setup because I'm hoping by fall I'll be able to um, take care of what needs to be taken care of to prepare the high tunnel and kind of do all of that. Y'all hear them? chickens man they're so funny all right so I'm happy I got to show you guys the garden um, finally <laughs> finally got to get out here and show you guys and show you the chickens they're hilarious uh, I'm hoping I'll be able to get out here and show you guys some more as things are coming up I'm real excited to see I, I like I can't even tell you how excited I am to see that rhubarb because I thought I was gonna have to grow more. I thought I thought I was gonna have to order more crowns or start some from seed or something. It is I am still planning to start some from seed so that I have it and I can just kind of scatter it around the garden. I am just excited that I actually have a harvest coming from rhubarb this year. Hallelujah. I'm actually kind of amazed that the uh, raspberries are doing so, so well. And I'm amazed that the blackberries are doing so well because we had deer come in last year or two years ago and it just ate them down. Now this year, wait, maybe it was last year. Yeah, it was last year because we put this cage like thing up um, we had only had this chicken wire for the longest of times and we had fishing line tied around the top of all of these posts, all of these T-posts. We had fishing wire, several strands of it just tied around the top to deter the deer. But then um, 
one of them figured out that they could get over it and they got over it and they had all their friends in here eating things overnight and those berry bushes were down to a nub my blueberries were down to a nub we've had these blueberries since just after we moved here and they've barely grown so we've i mean we just had problem after problem with the deer oh you know what i see i don't know if you could see it oh you can you can you can okay y'all see that right there that's comfrey no it's it's down there sweetheart the big leaves coming up from the brown bag yep that one and then next to that we have chives there's some anise hyssop in there and there's something else coming up right over there and I don't know what it is. But I'm growing all kinds of herbs because I just believe in being able to harvest them and use them for different purposes. I do need to start my herbs quite a bit behind. I showed you guys we started the um, flowers and celery and leeks. Some flowers. Some flowers, not sun flowers. Uh, but a lot there's going to be, I think, probably about two beds that are going to be dedicated to flowers this year. I probably should have transplanted my strawberries out because this is kind of taking up a whole bed and I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to plant with them. It'll be fine. <laughs> like I said, this is the year of making the best we can out of a bad situation. So, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. My kiddo actually uh, needs me for something and the wind is getting kind of crazy. I hope to goodness y'all can hear me <laughs> over this wind. Um, but we will check in with y'all again soon. I have quite a bit more coming up. So I will see y'all again soon. And you take care. Till next time.